Hey guys, and welcome back to Haunting Grounds. I actually had to think about it for a moment there. Um, so, I have done a little bit of digging, and apparently we can indeed refine this white godstone again and turn it into a red godstone. Oh my. It actually transformed. Well, I have just tried this on every single machine, and I guess this is the one that actually works. So, we finally... Ooh, Jesus. Wasn't expecting that. Um, what did that actually do? Oh, right. Just unleashed some more of those gribbly motherfuckers, and I need to detach my mic from my headset. That's better. Stop it banging into my actual microphone. Right, so we got the red godstone. Um, from what I can understand, literally the only reason that we get this is so we can transmute this red godstone into a set of earrings. Um... Now, I actually think we have already discovered the earrings, but possibly not. Alchemist, I think it's the alchemist. No, you get the philosopher earrings, apparently, from refining this. Which we've already got. Um, earrings made by processing an extremely rare substance known as the philosopher's stone. The speed at which you come from a state of panic increases, as does mental stability. Okay. Well, I mean, you know. I guess that's quite useful. I suppose. Let's give it a go. Um, yeah, mold and corrosion wafts into the hole. Yeah. So apparently, what is that voodoo? I don't know if we can even play with that voodoo, to be honest. A chest used to store clothes. We know it's used to store clothes. We just don't have anything. Uh, have we even been in this one? There's something written here. Yeah, we we know all that. We know all that. Okay, so these all seem to... I don't know if they all lead to the same place or if there are just identical rooms. I like to believe in my head headcanon that they all lead to the same one because that makes kind of more sense. Um, anyway, so uh, I guess we can use that here. You can't use this here. Are you sure? Right, so there must be a specific one. Um, 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 um. Okay. So it says here, if we refine... The red godstone. Are we at the water tower? Is this the water tower? Well, we have to go to a particular um, particular refining machine, apparently, and that will apparently give us the philosopher's earrings. Now, in the event that we already have the philosopher's earrings. It will give us a medallion instead, a magist medallion, which um, is the best medallion you can get. So, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. But it's not exactly super important. Um. Right, one second. Let me look this up, see where we can actually refine it to. Because we might as well whilst we're here. Right, so, uh, I'm kind of back up to where we were, guys. I've spent, well, almost. I've spent um, all of our medallions, but I have just picked up another one. Now, 
We got the manga. I'll show you what we got. We got the manga. I didn't realize we could sort our inventory as well. So it's like actually nice and clean, which is cool. So we got the ruby choker, which sounds like a weaker version of the diamond choker. Fancy ruby, ruby red choker in the shape of a heart reduces speed at which stamina is lost and increases recovery speed. Also increases chance to avoid enemy power attacks. Uh, what else did we get? We got the mag... Esca stuff. We've got a lot of this. We got a batch of two, a single one, and then a batch of four of these. So quite a lot. <laughs> Completely restores the dog's lost stamina and makes them happy. So quite happy to get that. We also got uh, a times three refined magnesia, which is... Um, right, that's the one you set on the ground. Okay, so created from refining the purest of magnesia. It is used by setting it on the ground. If an enemy runs over the refined magnesia, it will explode and do major damage to them. Interesting. Cool. So we got um, a triple pack of that. Now Mundus is somewhere. This. Mundus. Um, which... Reduces panic by a small amount. I mean, it kind of seems pointless, really. Reduces panic by a small amount. I guess it will have its use at some point. But we got a pack of four, another pack of four, and another pack of four. <laughs> so we actually got a lot of that from our uh, medals. But unfortunately, it doesn't really sound like it's a very useful item. Uh, we got a two-piece of this beast completely reduces panic so that's like the that's like your mega herb in um resident evil your your red and the green together whereas that's kind of like a green herb i suppose um okay that's fine we also got the burst shoes uh, the tips of the shoe have been made with highly combustible material that causes the shoes to explode outward on a single target impact um i think we actually had these before because I'm sure we showed them off. However, uh, I don't know. Um, because I know I played with these. But I th think a video screwed up or something. And I had to re-record something. Um, and we ended up with the silver boots. But now we have the burst shoes. Either that or we already had the burst shoes. And then they replaced with the silver boots. Which means that you can, in fact, get doubles of items. Which is curious. Uh, we Yeah, and we got the ruby choker. So that's everything that we actually um, got so far. We've got two medallions, so I found two more since I've done everything. But the reason I cut it off screen as well is it actually... It takes a long time to actually roll all of these. Um, but yeah, not exactly a great turnout this time but whatever anyway i was exploring the forest as you do and i apparently went the wrong way and look what i found remember that gunshot and huey runs off i just i just fucking found him now i looked this up and apparently this is crucial to getting the good ending Oh, it's different. I think. Oh god, dickheads here. Oh, this is bad. Right, so not only did we find Huey this time, this whole section is different. Um, because I could hear him whining and I, I went into it. <laughs> and I looked it up. I was like, Huey? In the forest? Apparently this is crucial to get the, the best ending. I don't know if we can come back here later on and still save him because remember we we just left the forest um so that's kind of interesting so potentially you can run off and leave Huey to himself uh, I mm, I'm guess I don't know if he'll come back after that 
uh, and randomly find you again, or if he's just gone for the rest of the game. This is a really interesting pivotal moment, or pivotal moment, I should say, that I, I kind of almost gloss past. Unfortunately, Ricardo is out and about. Don't know if he's going to disappear. I was wondering if, considering he's just turned up, I was wondering if he was um, going to trap and corner us here. But he actually has shot Huey. Dude, that's interesting. Can we, like, examine Huey? You'll be alright, boy. Just stay still, okay? Right, now it looks like our knob end of a friend is back. I had no idea he was going to come out and follow us into the forest. Now remember, one shot and we're screwed. So that's bad. Um, I have to remember as well how we got out of here. It was kind of... It was kind of down. So hang on, we... We must have come down here. I need to watch that. I haven't edited that video back. I need to watch that back and see if we did actually come down here and just like we just slightly missed him. Oh man. Right, he's gone. We need to go. So this leads. Like, is this even similar to where we went? Oh shit, hello. You. Fucking asshole. Shoot my dog. I hope we get to kill him in a really savage and brutal way. Because this guy, this guy is. Oh, did we go through the cave? I'm uh, kind of glad that he's so inaccurate with his weapon. Right, so this is where. Okay, we actually got to this bit. It's the dead end. Kind of glad I went back now and fiddled with the stone. <laughs> I actually thought this was a game over when I first saw it. I thought he had just shot Fiona. Which is a pretty shitty thing to do. We've already seen this, of course. So we've bandaged Huey up. Um, and there he is. No, because he licked us and woke us up. Huey. So that's an optional. You saved me again. Optional bit? I'm confused. Yeah, of course, because he was already here. I remember that much now. Huh. Looks like a map of sorts. It's the tower sketch. Oh, right. Are we in the water tower? Because the water tower apparently is where we can transmute uh, the godstone. Alright, so let's use a tower. Okay. And, and having a skim through, there's loads of little optional bits and little secrets and stuff in this game, which uh, we've obviously not done because I don't know about them. Um, but yeah, so mm, unless what they mean by you need to um, bandage him to get the good ending, maybe it just gives you like a huge boost to your relationship status with Huey, maybe? That hidden meter in the background. I really don't know. Huh. But anyway, that was cool. That was really cool. So, we're locked up and we got a memo. Somewhere. Folded memo. Fiona, are you well? Let me tell you about the location you're currently in. This place is known as... Oh, it is the water tower. Okay. That accursed Ricardo has confined you in this tower. It disheartens me to say that there are no exits left in the water tower. However, all is not lost, for there is a way to create an exit. 
Somewhere in the basement, there lies an item known as Magisterium. Magisterium? Magisterium? After you attain it, use it at the top floor of the tower. That will open a path that connects the water tower with the House of Truth, where I reside. Also, avoid Ricardo at all costs. He, for lack of a better word, is dangerous. Oh, if only I weren't cursed with this useless fossil of a body. I would run to your aid. Also, fate hasn't given me that chance. I pray for your safety, Fiona. Should we be trusting this guy? Is, is it true that there's like one good guy trying to help us, but... Uh, is he... I guess he's like some cripple or something. Right. Go, Huey. Go, buddy. Uh, I guess, also, we still have Ricardo chasing us around in the water tower, which kind of sucks massive quantities of donkey dick, but we're gonna... we're gonna roll with it. So, we've got the prison key. Sweet. <clears throat> there you are, boy. <laughs> Definitely healed fast, didn't he? Thank you, Huey. <laughs> right, so do we need to take that? And also, who who dressed us? Why do we have blood? Uh, you know what? Let's not think about these things too too much, hey? Um, do we have to thank Huey? Good boy. Good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good poochie. Huey's a good poochie, apparently. Ooh, what's that? Huh? What's this? Oh. A bronze figurine. Right, you are? And some beef jerky. Oh, ah, right. So this has to be um, where we can use the red stone. Question mark. It, it's changing, transforming. Right, so it changes into a major medallion, which apparently is the best medallion. But if we didn't already have... Uh, it's one of the earrings. I, it's either the alchemist or the philosopher's earrings. One of the two. If we didn't already have one of those, uh, it would have been that. So, yay, I guess. Right. Well, this place stinks. So, let's start having a little poke around. Do we get, like, our old clothes back or anything? Or are we just stuck to run around in this prison garb? Right, well, we're locked in there. Another exit. There has to be one somewhere. Well, we just did get a tip off. Looks like it would be cold down here. Where in there? Oh, for... That's... Oh, God. Oh. What? Ah, the formula is working then. Hey? It works directly on the eyes. You can't see me, can you? Oh, that's you are creepy. Mine. I own you. You are mine. I own you. <laughs> okay. There's nowhere to run. That is like incredibly creepy. Ooh. This. Ooh. Um. Uh oh. Uh. Help. I mean, can Huey even help us? Can he. Because I'm guessing Huey can't see him either. Good boy, Huey. What's this? I don't know. Silver disc. What the hell's a silver disc and why do we want it? It's actually a key item. Something resembling a star chart has been etched onto the face of the board. I have no clue as to where it should be used. Small bronze statue of a man. I have no... Okay. Right, so we found... What? Is there anything else here? Nowhere to run. There's nowhere to run. You sound like Wesker. There's no point in hiding. Oh, I beg to differ, Wesky. 
I'm gonna hide just long enough to kick you in the dick. And we did! Royally. Right, so not only is this gobshy able to run uh, and run pretty quickly. Um, he's now freaking invisible. Like, game, hello? Are you literally trying to take the piss? I guess the answer would be yes. Right, he's gone. So what's that? I wonder if this water is... Oh! It's a restore point. Okay, I thought we were going to have to put the bronze statue on it or something. Alright, come on boy. Let's go save it. Ah, oh, for... F right, hide. So this, this douchebag can literally be anywhere. That's concerning. That's really quite concerning. Can we not? We can, we just have to be in the right area. Where are we on the map? Yeah. So, where does this way go? What's up, boy? What's up? What's up? Huey. Uh, I guess this is going up to where we need to use the thing. Whatever the thing is. <laughs> oh, you bastard. He's up here, isn't he? Is he? He's, yep, he's up here. Son of a... Son of a bitch. Um, okay, I don't know how we can fight someone that we can't see. Talk about pulling a little bit of a fast one game. Damage game! It's alright, Fiona. Uh, you probably won't die. I say probably. Um, there are no guarantees in life. Let's get out of here. Oh, great. Yeah, about that. What's this? I don't know. Lavender. Great. This is exactly what we wanted, apparently. So what did that old torn note, torn note say? Folded memo. Yeah. Right, so we need to find this uh, uh, Magisterium stuff. Fine. That is fine, but <laughs> all right, boy. All right. So there's light coming from the other side of the lake. I've got to find a way to get there. Out, a way out of this nightmarish place. Yeah. Yeah. This is. This is pretty messed up. Alright. Come on, boy. Let's try that again. I bet the bell end has gone back up here again, hasn't he? I bet he has. Come on, Huey. Where has that dick buffer gone? Ooh, there's pots. We like pots. Oh, you shitbag. You son of a bitch. Game. Ooh. I guess the game's not really fucking around anymore. Oof. I was going to kick Huey then. You know what? Do your worst. Can we not? Oh, right. Have we got to kick it? Surely we can. There we can. Just takes a bit. Right. Oh, shit on a shovel. Shit. Thanks, dude. Look, you're just lucky, mate. If I could see what I was doing, 
I'd give you such a fucking hiding. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I don't... We can't really fight this guy, can we? This, oh, nice. Yes, Huey. That's it. You're getting a kick in. Ow. Oh, God, he... He doesn't fuck around, though, does he? Uh-oh. Full-on panic mode. Full-on panic mode. This is going to get worse before it gets better. I don't think this is going to get better. <laughs> um, Fiona. Oh. Maybe? Okay. Here's me thinking that that was just going to be death. I don't know. He kind of... Kind of let us get up and walk away. I mean, sure, I guess. Right, come on, Kiwi. Ooh, bastard. Well, no matter. Well, no matter. Come on. Oh, shit. He's found us. Kiwi, kill him. There we go, Kiwi. Can we... Oh, my God. I'm not trying to run, you penis. Come on, kick him up the ass. That's it. That's what we're talking about. Come on, we're doing like five times damage here. Huey, get him. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Can we actually take this guy out? Well, he ran away, so... Small victory. Good boy. Right, and on top of that, let's let's give Huey something to eat. What do you mean you can't use this here? Do you need to be close enough to smell the dog's breath? Like seriously? There you go, boy. He did take a few savage little beatings there for us so it's the least we can do is give the old boy something to to gnaw over uh, we do actually have yeah we do have the silver boots equipped good he's rough man although although uh, at least oh shit oh actually can you get that Huey go Huey is that something you can get, or do we have to... Ah, uh, oh, shit. Shit! You utter bastard. Ah, and he's... Right, Huey. Huey, charge up. Come get me, you absolute dick buffer. There we go. That's it. Yes! How do you like those apples? Huh? Weeping stone? I mean, sure, I guess. Right, what do you think of those apples, you absolute fucking knobhead? Now, let's go. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. He's a creepy little prick. And the sooner we can dispose of him, the better. And I hope it is in a satisfactory way. Oh, okay, here we go. Right. I mean, um, Diabilitus, or Diabetes, uh, you can't really stay too angry at him. He was a, uh, he was slow in the brain, you know. Um, the maid, well, she was a very broken creation, you know, it's kind of out of her control. Uh, but this guy, nah man, this guy, this guy's just a knob. Okay, so we're just going to continue going up this tower. Looks like our, oh god, panic, panic, no, come on. Uh. Oh, now our friend has turned up again. Dude. Right, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Huey, Huey go get him. 
And unfortunately, we can't really grab whatever was on that ground. Good boy, Huey. Oh, God, that didn't sound good. I wonder if there's something we can get or something... Ooh. Something that we can use, maybe. To... Um, oh, the planetarium. Something we can use here to... Permanently... Uh, see, well, I mean, I guess... I guess him being invisible is just part of this bit, isn't it? Nothing we can really do. I do want to go grab that item, though. Ooh. This looks pretty cool. All of life on the surface of the planet stretches out below the star's radiant light. All of the events played out on the surface of the planet are coloured by the star's never-ending travels. The true miracle will only occur when the stars that guide the universal destiny are linked as one. The planets have been arranged in the following order from the outside in. Uh, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Sol, Venus, Mercurius and Luna. All of these planets revolve around the centre of the universe. The great planet Terra. Begin the celestial uh, chain from the furthest edge of the universe. Saturn, uh, Saturnus. However, the path to enlightenment is not a singular in nature. Proceed forward with the al with alternate routes in mind. Uh, okay. Right. Let's go see if we can grab that item. As long as penis breath has disappeared. I'm guessing. Do we get our clothes back? I, I don't know. I guess it's not super important. Medallion. Uh, sure. I suppose that was worth it. Right. I'm guessing that key item that we need to find will probably get from this puzzle. I assume. But. That's going to have to wait for next time, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.